In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through the process of using Google Sheets to create a custom pie chart or a custom bar or line graph. First, what you're going to want to do is open up sheets.google.com or go into your Google Drive and click on New Sheets. Once you get a brand new sheet open, have an idea of what you want to create your bar graph or your pie chart on. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to create a bar graph that shows population comparisons throughout North Africa. I'm first going to write down the names of all of the North African countries that I want to compare. Once I have all of the countries written down on column A, I'm then going to fill out column B. I'm going to use row 1, column B, to write the title. From there, I'm going to fill out my data. In order to find the data, I like to use the CIA World Fatbook. Once you get to this website, click Countries, and then let's just click Morocco. After I click Morocco, I'm going to find Economy. From Economy, I'm going to see per capita income is $8,100. I'm going to put that in my Google Sheet. After that, I'm going to show you a really quick trick. Go back into Rural GDP per capita, click on that. From there, you have all of these countries in the world and their per capita income. I'm going to go back into my sheet and see I want Algeria. I'm going to hit this button here at the top, these three dots, and then click Find or Control F. Then I'm going to type in Algeria. In order to make this really easy, you might want to create two windows. So I have my two windows created, and then I am able to now just type in all of the per capita income. I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to go back into my window on my left with my SeaWorld Factbook, Control F, and then type in Tunisia. Complete that for all of the countries listed. Once I have all of the data complete, I can make this window large again. Once you have all of the data, title your spreadsheet. Highlight your data, and then click Insert Chart. From here, you can see that I have a pie chart. Now, I don't really want to have a pie chart. All of the data is really messy and unorganized. I want to turn this into a bar graph. So on the right side, you're going to click Chart Type and find Bar Graph. And bam, automatically transitioned it into a bar graph. And I have the title up here. Now, it says Per Capita Income North Africa Versus. I don't need that versus. So I'm going to delete that. And then I can customize my chart. I want to make my title in the center. I want this title to be black, so I can change it black by highlighting the text and changing it to black. I also have a few options. I can make the text size bigger. I can change the font type. And I can do the same thing by clicking on any other elements. As you see, if I move my cursor around here, I can highlight and then edit any element that is highlighted. For example, this side right here. I can put in U.S. dollars 2023 CIA World Factbook. I can then kind of click on it and move it along the side because I want it to be center. Since I want to highlight Morocco, I am going to click on Morocco, and you can see I have all of all of this data is blue. I can click on Morocco, and I double click on that, only Morocco is highlighted. I'm going to color that country black because I want that one to be to stand out as opposed to the other ones. If I don't like this blue color, I can just click on any of these bar graphs, and you see how all of these bars are highlighted. From there, I can color it whatever I want. There are a few other tricks that you can explore to see how you can edit and customize this bar graph. For example, you can make these ticks have additional counting in between or none. You can change the count. You can have major grid lines or no grid lines. You can change the grid line color to be black instead of that gray color that it was. You can always change things back to auto or hit the undo button right here if you don't like how you change that. You can make the background color white or have the background color transparent. You can have a border color, which is this box around it or no border color, however you want it. If you're done, then you can always go into a Google slide presentation if you're going to use this in a Google Slides presentation by going slides.google.com. You can open up a brand new presentation 
and you can click insert chart from sheets, upload the per capita income chart by clicking on it, hit insert, double check that's the one you want, import, and there you go. Anytime you're in this Google Slides presentation with this chart, if you want to go back into the Google Sheets, you can click this linked chart options arrow down, hit open source, and then you can edit the chart or edit the data however you need to. This tutorial was helpful.